the big difficulty is that we've got two different assays, diagnostic assays that are now FDA approved. Uh, they both have different cut points in the, the definition of how they uh, define who a positive patient is. Uh, they also have different algorithms, if you will, on how to even calculate the uh, percentage of cells that are positive, uh, and both are linked to an individual drug. So one assay is linked to pembrolizumab use, and the other assay is linked to atezolizumab use. And so it is, I think, very confusing to follow this, especially since the guidance is so recent, uh, in the sense that if you're thinking about using one of these drugs, you've got to order a certain assay uh, and, and then know how to do the proper scoring.